let's start off by graphing this particular absolute value function. The first thing you do is find this point. Now, how do we find this point right here? Well, what you do, you take what's inside of here. This is your x value, but it's the opposite of what's inside the absolute value. So the opposite of negative 3 is positive 3, comma, 2. This is the y value. So this is the x, this is the y value of this point, this important point. So in this particular problem, it would be 3, 2, as you can see right here. Then what you do is you look at the number in front. It's your slope. Kind of, kind of. It's a little bit different, but basically it's your slope. So your slope is 4. So we have this point, 3, 2, bam, and we have a slope of 4. So I go up 4 over 1, up 4 over 1. Now for absolute value graphs, what you have to do is you then, the opposite direction, you're going to go up 4 over 1, up 4 over 1, and create this V shape. So again, 3, 2 is this point, and then the slope is 4, so you can go up 1 over 4, up 1 over 4 in both directions. It kind of looks like a parabola. It's very similar, actually, to graphing parabolas in vertex form. Now, right here is an inequality absolute value function. So we look at this again. We want to find this red dot. Well, it's the opposite of 4 is negative 4, negative 1. So negative 4, negative 1. As you can see right here, negative 4, negative 1. That's my point right there. That's, we have to start with that always. So start with that point. Opposite this number. Coordinate of the point, the tip of the V. And this number front is your slope. So negative 1 half. What that means is you're going to go down 1 over 2, down 1 over 2, down 1 over 2. You keep going. And then you go the opposite, but you go the opposite direction. You go down one the opposite red direction too. Down one the opposite direction too. And then you get this nice little V, and that's how you simply graph the function. Now, let's talk about the inequality part of it. Well, for greater than, you have to realize this is a dotted line. Now, if this is a greater than or equal to, it would be a solid line. So again, if there's a line underneath this inequality sign, this would be a solid line. But since there's no line underneath, this is a dotted or dashed line. Now, why did I shade the top here in red? Well, this is saying greater than. Well, if you look at this graph, if I put my finger or my arrow right there, isn't if I go straight up, isn't that my isn't greater above? So if I put my dot, my arrow right there, go straight up, that is above. So if I go to this dot, greater than would be above, so I go above. Greater than would be above. So we shaded above the graph. Now, if it said less than, I put my arrow right there and go down, and then that ends up being where the shaded region would be. So anyway, you put your arrow anywhere on the graph. If it's less than, you go down, which means this side you shade. If it's greater than, you go up, and that means that's the side you shade. So there's only two options, one side or the other, of these absolute value functions.